if you caught yesterday's video, you would have already been in the know regarding the pullback that we faced, followed by the upside thrust that we faced today as well. Lots of people thought that we were going to continue to the downside, but there was one thing preventing that downside from happening. Let's go ahead and see what the potentials are for the following sessions, team. What is up, you guys? Thank you so much for stopping by once again. This is Arca coming at you with a FNGR technicals, raw price action, and statistical threat of analysis on this Taco Tuesday. Before we get started, please make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and share the video with a friend so that you and them could consider joining our trading community in Discord called Arca Bulls. With that said, let's dive right into the charts. Okay, team. So let's go ahead and go over the play because the play happened to follow exactly what we talked about yesterday, right? So we want to point out here that we were building this really massive uh, it, uh, head and shoulders formation, right? In, the, in this case, this was a triple. It's actually, I noticed just recently that it was actually a triple shoulder, potential triple head and triple shoulder here, <laughs> head and shoulders formation, right? They, you can, they can appear in the variety of double. They can appear in the variety of single and triple. It's, it's entirely okay. No. Uh, they don't grow by strength or, you know, there's, there's no addition to anything regarding the count of shoulders or heads. It's all good. It's all the same thing. Okay, team. So, uh, yeah, what we're noticing here is, is that this could be the invalidation starting and the bear trap starting yet again, team. Just like the way we were able to call it the last time at 371 down here, that exact same way. Why were we able to tell that, team? Well, this is called the neckline from the, from the head and shoulders formation, right, team? This neckline is a perfect regression. It, and, and you can see here, right? I explained this in the videos yesterday. So if, you're, if you didn't catch this, you know, I don't, I don't know what to say, right? But <laughs> usually we have used this regression line as a, as a major area for some bounces that are, that are of, I mean, of critical targets. Please take a look at this. We break in, right? We have that bounce, the first iteration here. Boom, we get that price action all the way up there. We come back and test that, 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 we test that regression one more time. Boom, we get that huge upside all the way up here, right, team? Come back to it again. This is where we call the 371 bottom and bear trap again. Bam, we get that uh, all the way up here, team. And guess what? We came back to test it again. This was the time where I told you, team, it's highly likely that we're going to face a downside here to retest that regression line. And this is essentially where shorts are thinking that we may be able to continue on to the downside, but I do not believe so. So, okay, team, a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of confluence within this regression. Okay, so we came back down and bam, we were talking about a 475 bottom team. This happened to reach 481, just short of our target down here, and then bam, we got that explosion to the upside team. What I am liking here is is that on the four hour time frame, we have printed an iteration here that it's called the three white soldiers. Okay, team, this is a reversal formation in general, and it is a continuation to the upside or a bullish formation by nature okay team so i see here that we are pulling back ever so slightly we are closing the day or the after hours day at about 5 30 traditional market close ended up at about uh, let's see 5 40 or 5 41 in some brokerages right so that is absolutely bullish team and that marks off a pretty nice a pretty nice impulsive upside today of which by i mean at some point it was around 13 percent up on the day Okay, team, so this could be the start of the bear trap that I was speaking about, right, team? So the bear trap I am talking about is in regards to this head and shoulders where the bears thought that they may be able to get this here and succeeded to the downside to reach a target of about three cents. But what they are not noticing, team, is, is that we're in the process of building a macro scale inverted head and shoulders. Okay, team, this is your shoulder head and your shoulder here. That is is a massive massive uh, uh, bullish signal here team okay so that is essentially what i'm looking at team aside from this hold on just a sec i'm going to show you this aside from the price action right please notice here the moving averages okay we are we are able we have able to i'm sorry we were able to succeed the upside of the sma 50 
right? So we broke right above that. We also broke upside of the SMA 10 and the price action right now is yes, on its way back down to test that SMA 10 and the SMA 50 as relevant support before a continuation to the upside team. What I can say is that it's, it has absolute relevance with our support bottom and this is our range of support, right? 516 to 542. Notice that we resisted right at the range and we're now coming back to the bottom side to test it. If we are able to get that bottom side team, I cannot guarantee that 517 would be the bottom, but we can look at other targets too. In relation to the EMA 7 and the EMA 9, let's go ahead and just display those there because those may very well be some targets that are uh, that may be considered here for a potential bounce, right? So let's go ahead and load up those time frames and just take a look at what they could uh, suggest, right? It may be higher than the SMA 10. Of course, it is. Team, please take a look at here that it is... It is also of higher probability that we can face a bounce anywhere between this zone here right so let's just say that it could be about 525 to around 526 all right team so yeah we i guess we can leave a little bit of a uh we can leave a little something here for the morning session when we uh start streaming right uh yeah we can leave it right over there okay team so that's that's uh, i mean the first area right that could be the first the first zone where we can see this as a potential bounce, the second zone, of course, is at the SMA 10 located at about 516. OK, team. So that could be that could be a zone there. All right, team. So before we can face a continuation to the upside, thus validating and continuing on this bullish formation, which is the three white soldiers. OK, team, let's move on to the next chart and see what we have. This is another indication that that bottom side could have been playing for a huge bear trap. The fact that we are breaking out on true test number four here. So we're getting test number one, two, three. This true breakout test number four, inverted head and shoulders, potential top side. This is measured in a certain way too, team. So this can give us, uh, this can give us a bias towards that, uh, towards the take profit, right? This would be the neckline here for the inverted head and shoulders. Let's go ahead and just take the price objective by taking a trend line from the top side of that neckline all the way to the bottom side of the head and then we can apply it to the top side here. Of course, this is suggesting some massive targets right now of which I understand we talked about it in the in the uh, short squeeze plan, right? But it's just to kind of put it out there, team, that there is a possibility that we can reach those targets. This is just psychologically speaking. The formation itself, the broadening descending wedge has a natural uh, 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 playbook right here per the re regular playbook rules. 1283 is essentially the top side that we're looking at for that target, right? So just in case you were wondering how I came up to that 1283 that I've spoken of several times, then that's how it is, right, team? Right, it's based on this formation itself. The traditional playbook rules state that we can take profit by uh, uh, the genesis of the formation itself, located at 1283. Next chart, team. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we have here. So this is the hourly chart here, team. And what we're looking at here is, is that the composure, the, R, the, the ARQ, composure algorithm, the one that we just released, uh, is ga it gave us right here, right at market end, it gave us the end of a, of a of this trend right so this is literally telling us okay we could have already faced the the bottom side of this trend expect a pullback what happened during the after hours right here bam we got that 530 dip from that 540 top right team so very very accurate times experienced within this uh, within this algorithm team this is the uh th this is the algorithm that has been giving us the signals of manipulation as well so if you are curious about obtaining any of these indicators i'm sorry the, the indicator pack Right, please go ahead and get in touch with us at arqindicators at gmail.com, just like we displayed them in the uh, in the in the beginning, right? In the in the introduction. So this particular this particular algo that comes with the set is about a set of eight indicators. This one in particular is called Composure. Okay, team. So this one is the one that displays for us all of those signals of manipulation, uh, uh, moving average crossovers continuation signals and and invalidation signals okay team all of it located within one uh, momentum based indicator and we have eight total teams so this is absolutely a win for everybody so let's go ahead and move on to the next chart here team and just and just observe this as it's about to happen right we have a few days maybe yeah i'm thinking maybe uh maybe i would say friday uh, this week or Monday, we can get this buy daily golden cross, which is absolutely bullish, team. I'm definitely liking what I'm seeing here. Let's move on to the next chart here and see what else we have, right? So, uh, right. So, I wanted to point out something interesting, okay? So, you can see here that this daily candle, 
uh, ended up facing that upside, and then it, it, look, look at the look at the. Uh, oh right, let me make this a daily. Let's see if it actually got that. Yeah, th so this is the last candle printed on the daily, right? You, when I hover over this one, it'll hover on the GTII one, and if I hover on the GTII one, it'll hover on the finger, right? So this this last candle printed here is. I mean, take a look at that. That upside met in met directly inverse to this downside here. So. This is what I meant by sometimes there is correlation happening between GTII and FNGR, but mostly, I mean, this was a this was an incredible price drop here for GTII facing the 75.73. Okay, team. So I'm wondering here if GTII could be facing a potential bottom, and uh, I guess we can kind of kind of combine the uh, uh, we can kind of combine the 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 strategies here or the the analysis to try to see if if there could be some type of rebound happening for the immediate short term at least for GTII and it looks like GTII could be facing uh, continuation sideways if anything so let's see the hourly time frame uh, the hourly time frame is still showing a little bearish right so by hourly time frame same situation there if anything consolidation with slight downside three hours uh, three hour time frame as well so look at this four hour time frame definitely not showing us that there is any indications of reversal except for the fact that we may be bottoming out and that's around that's around it that that's uh, that's showing us as far as as far as a bullish uh, reversal uh, signal, right? So everything thus far in GTI is suggesting some sideways trading and or slightly lower, okay, which is indicative of us potentially facing that downside to seventy four seventy one or just or even even at the lows of today, right? That would be at a let's see the low of where is it? It's on the L seventy five fifty two. Right, we could we could face another bounce from the uh, from that area there, and then start to consolidate here, team. So we already broke the first consolidation zone. This was that chop area that we were trading up and down. We broke it. It could be the possibility that we're starting a new one down here. Okay, team. So let's just go ahead and keep an eye on GTII as we stream as well. So uh, now FNGR is sitting on the in the bi monthly resistance level of the Gaussian bands yet again. So we're knocking at that door once again, team. This is looking pretty good. I, I, I although I have to say that it is a pretty strong area of resistance is still looking not bad all right so now for the last part of the analysis here team this is the rsi please notice that the immediate short term time frame suggesting a continuation to the downside of we already we already know this right so we already talked about those targets too at the very beginning of the video all right team so now we are getting that limited downside signal right here this is what's telling us that we can face the downside either to the sma10 or the EMA seven space between the EMA seven and the EMA the EMA nine. Literally from the beginning of the video, right over here, we spoke about these targets, right, team. First of all, just to remind everybody, 524 to 526 immediate short term support, followed by a potential a secondary support at 516. If in the event that we fail that, okay. If I'm gonna if I'm gonna be honest here, team, there may be also a shot at getting a, a getting a low fives here at that EM at that SMA 50 potential 509 drop. But I don't know that we have enough enough uh, liquidity to reach down that low. Of course, anything is possible in the markets. Anything can be invalidated with any type of uh, FOMO event or catalyst uh, of sorts, right? So yeah, go ahead and take a look at here at the four hour time frame. It's already at the support from the SMA 14, indicating a potential bounce pretty soon. Okay, team. So this is now the eight hour time frame, suggesting a continuation to the upside. So if we are able to get this bounce here from the short term time frames and bounce to the upside here, that would suggest and also infer that we may be that we may be succeeding the upside of the SMA 14 on the eight hour chart. Uh, uh, without actually having to face resistance, right? So first of all, we are located in the gravitational zone here of the bull weakness percentile, which would essentially pull us to the upside. And then we would face a resistance, pull back, validate that SMA 14 support, continue on to the upside. Okay, team, so yeah, by daily time frame, also indicative of that potential too the uh, succession of the upside of that SMA 14. And one more thing here, team, the three day time frame showing us that we are at support here. So it is a little bit at danger because it is at that gravitational zone, but seeing that the shorter time frames could potentially bounce to the upside, these shorter time frames will likely start cascading into the larger time frames, thus pushing the price action higher and higher. Okay, team. So uh, please, uh, yeah, so that, that's kind of what I'm looking at here, team. I think uh, that there is a serious shot at this. 
Okay, so please take whatever I do show and iterate within these videos as just a form of entertainment as I cannot suggest for you to buy, sell, or hold any assets whatsoever, okay, team? I need you to do your own due diligence and everything will be cool, cool. But with that said, team, I wish you well, a very, very good night, and, I catch, and I'll catch you at the bell. Manana. Adios.